Welcome back to our city hall. Here's a good chukudi and good inside the studio with our Ugonga visitor. When I go notice say even our pigeon they polished <laughs> because <laughs> make you realize our school fees waste. Now senior lecturer from the University of Lagos. Now we there inside studio and in also the person where they wear the jersey of SDP politic party for the Lagos governorship election this 2019. So once again, Dr. Ade Tokumbo Pierce, welcome to Asile Hot. Thank you very much. Uh, we could not waste time, we could just go straight into our discussion. And we go like start with one when I know say it go touch you uh, for body where well because now the area where we say you day. And you don't also talk and say education are the antidote uh, to come out to poverty for people life. This ASU strike, uh, it be like say ASU don't turn to strike. Because at least since the return to democratic rule, I've been doing my small research. I can't check how many times we don't strike for this country. I calculate all the days. The thing now three years and three months. Mm. Since the past 20 years, we have done three full years and three months. Now we don't lose to strike for inside this country. I go like ask, as person went there inside this system, mm. when Sabi has the thing they go, mm. you think that we go ever reach the level for this country where we say, Asu, no go ever vex reach the level, say, this government, now they take us play, we want strike, and children go there for a house. We go ever achieve that? Well, uh, first and foremost, I'm very grateful, since I asked me when I come here, mm -hmm. um, because now they reach the kind of people where I want us to they reach. The ordinary, everyday Nigerian. So I'm very proud of the work you people do. Um, Part of the problem with education, we say, government not realize that when education not day right, the country is in crisis. Mm. We have no future. Mm. Because all these years we had only teach for university. Don't forget, I think I tell you now before we start, say, I teach for universities in the US 20 years, mm. Mm. from 1986 to 2006. For US, so? U.S. University, Roosevelt University, mm. Columbia College, mm. uni uh, State uni uh, University of uh, Chicago State University, mm. St. Louis University, Romeoville, all in Illinois. Then when I go to New York, um, I teach for another four or five universities, Mercy College, University College of New York, Hunter College, Brooklyn College. So I know the way education. If this kind of thing happen for America, they will, decry, they will declare crisis. Mm. The problem for Nigeria, we say, they don't take education seriously. They will not put money for education. Mm. Malaysia and Nigeria, they for the same level in the 1960s. Mm. This same Malaysia? Same level. Mm. Look where they're they now. Economically, they take our Pamkane. Pam yeah. They develop them I mean, into massive economy. They make money for everybody. Everybody get work. Hmm? Education, they invest in education heavily. Without that, you have nothing. Mm. Our future has been mortgaged in Nigeria by governments we don't know so education is critical. Mm. If I be president of Nigeria, with anything, look, we go get law, we be say, if you go on strike, yeah, you will not be paid. Mm. You know, a few years back when we get this uh, strike, you know, mm -hmm. a few years, we got a long mm -hmm. strike, longer than this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of these lecturers will go, every day I go after school, we'll go, I will go serve club, everybody, they drink, they eat pepper soup. I say, these students, they for house, they are suffering. Time to go for, a, 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 what they call it? A, you know, after graduation. Okay, okay. NYC. NYC. NYC, they can go, mm. because they don't, get, they, don't, they don't mess up their life. Mm. I say, okay, make government not pay us anymore. Mm. Make we not see how many lecturers are serious. Mm? Because if you say you want to strike and then you are getting paid, government is not serious. Mm -hmm. The lecturers are not serious. Mm -hmm. But government is the main problem. Mm. Mm. Because all, I the promises, like exactly. all, say, because the, all the promises where they make mm. in uh, 2014, 2013, mm. they don't keep up. When this government, this one, this one where we did, this Buhari government, I never see one where you pass this one. Every time Lasso or, or any Lasso wants to go on strike, they know they even listen. 
Yeah, they talk. But then they do meeting now. Yeah, and yeah, the master yeah. will count. Nah, the meeting nah. don't reach nine. That, that, nah, they're not serious. Hmm. So anyway, the key to education, look at Lagos State. We have 1,001 primary schools, 668 junior and secondary schools, only five technical and vocational schools. Mm -hmm. Without technical education, you cannot develop a country. Mm -hmm. And this way, way we did now, all these us, all these strike, what they do? They have, if you see quality of education, you don't go finish your, then nothing. The quality is disgraceful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just finished marking one master's class now. Master's who? Master's class. I will make I tell you what to happen. I, I call the head of the department. As we they talk now, then they watch me. Mm. They know say that the truth that they talk. Mm. I had to call the head of the department. I say, Prof, I beg you. What did I get here? If I if I present this grade, you go fight me. Mm. Say why? I said seventy percent of my class fail. Seventy percent. Seventy. Masters. 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 Yeah. So he said, what do we go do? I said, okay, we go add 10 points for everybody. So nobody can call me now. The quality is so bad because there's no investment. Hmm. You go, you want to study computer science, no computer to study. Hey. For university. Where, where's the computer? One classroom, 200 students, 300 students. How you go reach them? Lights no even day. Light not day, hey. microphone not day. Hey. Not in, where they, then they sit on top of each other. University. How can, by the time you get to university, education don't collapse. You don't, totally finish. Primary school, they, should, they, they, they need to get science lab, mm. computer lab, mm. library. When you get primary school, we don't get toilet. We no water. When the uh, rain fall, the roof they go to leak. Exactly. Four children go sit for one stool mm. on top of one another. So. Government is the problem. Now, government, they develop country. Mm. And by the way, country like America has the advanced reach. England has the advanced reach. Education is free. Mm. No, so. Mm. so. Uh -huh. Why education not go free for Nigeria? Mm. Some foolish person would tell me, yeah, hey, they have to pay. Where is the money to pay? Parents will not get work. Mm. The small work where they get the money not rich. Anyway, that's the problem with education. Government, if government need to know, say, education is a priority. It mm. is the only future for the country. Mm. If not be said poor education, you get person who want to be president of Nigeria and not get school set. Mm. Okay, make, make I enter into the next one, because um, this particular education matter we don't raise now will lead us to the next um, issue. And this one gets to do with um, um, or should state governor, we don't talk, say, look, they go partner with the uh, federal government to make sure, say, and they then develop mining um, this thing for their state. Um, over, the, over time, we don't see issues. We, 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 we involve this um, um, residual and all this, this particular issue, we say, where they restrict state governor, government from at least assessing resources. And then, um, Talking about me, I also chip in this as issue. And uh, government go also tell you, say, one of the reasons why they never fit um, reach out, reach the, that particular solid partnership with us now, because of say money no day. Money Very no good. day. Very How good. then can um, State, other states beyond just waiting, also look in between. Say, okay, how will Peter take her nest our own resources? So that we know they complain all the time, say, money do no day. You are right. Money no day for Nigeria. You know, when people say, oh, Nigeria rich, Nigeria rich, you, that's rubbish. If money day, government will do many things where they need to do. Apart from saying they steal the money, oh, but the one way they not steal is still not enough. Hmm. What, what did they happen for Oshun State now is an example of the Kone Kone way where they do politics for Nigeria. Hmm. Hmm. Let me explain. Oshun State now, now, APC states. So, then when they talk to federal government, say, let us use our natural resources. This is rubbish. If you want Oshu state, Enugu state, Abia state, uh, all, Koeba, the states. all the states to use their resources. This is when, you remember how long we don't talk about mm, restructuring. Mm, mm. This is with restructuring. But not restructuring through Kone Kone, through backdoor. You must make it into law that every state has the right to use the natural resources in a state to develop the state. It must be the law. It must be the law. 
Not be say because the federal government are your friend mm. or not your party. They say, okay, we go give you license to develop uh, your resource. Mm. All the resource with the entire for exclusive list must be released to the concurrent list so that every state can use. If every state use what they have, Nigeria will be the wealthiest country in, in, in Africa, if not in one of the Make wealthiest countries in the world. Make Make no, you know the resources we have for Nigeria? Okay. They not get, they get beauty men, bauxite, uranium, phosphite, nothing we know they there. Mm. The South is the same thing. On those states is the third, has the third largest deposit of bitumen in the world. In the world. Mm. On those states. On those states. Enugu and that region there, they have the ninth highest deposit of natural gas in the world. Mm. So all this one we are Osho State. Osho State has many resources, including this uh, bitumen. Uh, but here other states no go look say, okay mm. now oh, when Osho a federal Not government on the partner, yes. maybe we say partner, Abi the federal government must give go ahead. This thing must be law. Mm. Because, as she said, they turned on day for before. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't talk up. Mm. Eh, we go do this one. In fact, uh, when this man was in the former governor of uh, no, he's the current governor of Ikiti State now. He came back. Yeah, he came uh, back. Uh, yeah. uh, when he was minister, before, uh, mm. he talk. He said every state can use his resources. I said, Bobo, now lie. You the lie. Mm. Say lie. This one we, uh, this one we then they talk for uh, what the Oshun State now. It's politics. But, but may I quickly chip in? If, politics. If fire me when he was the mini, a minister, mm. talk, say, look, every state if he assess their, their resources. And to an extent, uh, maybe that clause, did they say every state if he resources their resources. not day. It's not out of laziness. The clause is not day. Uh, which, which governor not go feel, not go access the resources? You know the thing, eh? Okay, you get resources. Hmm? Mm. When you say you access, what do you mean by access? You have to be able to go to foreign investors mm -hmm. and say, okay, oh, I have this or I have that to come and invest. Make me, not be so. Mm -hmm. You cannot do that now. The constitution not allow them to do it. So unless this, this, this they are playing games with this issue. When you mentioned, I was very interested. I said, I could tell Nigerians what thing they really happen. Mm. If this thing should be law, this is why we are talking about restructuring. I think Buhari said, no, get time for restructuring. This one is restructuring through the back door. Mm. If you want to restructure, restructure. Let mm. the whole of Nigeria know you are restructuring. Mm. And the restructuring must also include political restructuring, administrative restructuring. For instance, education must be the under the control of the state. Security, how can you make a uh, law? Look at what happened in Benue. You make law, no open grazing. How do you enforce the law? You have no security, you have no police. Mm. So federal police come. Federal police say there will be open grazing. Leave uh, Fulani Hesmen to roam. That's what happened. Trouble start. So therefore, this restructuring must be holistic, it must be complete. Mm. Not be say small here, small there, yeah. you know, go work. Mm. You know, go work. Mm. You mark my word. All these states will not be under control of APC. They can't get the same support we or should state get. Now, maybe we can't talk about this very important one. Uh, because the number of people when they displaced, that is, when no get house, uh, because of Kasala or Wahala, when no happen for their community, uh, the thing don't increase. Oh, and uh, based on reports, they say since November, 59,000 people uh, don't add to that particular number. How we go take we find solution to this problem? So Look, government with the life of people, for political reasons, everything under the table. When Jonathan Day, we say this book around problem, <laughs> not be Jonathan problem. Oh. This is a serious problem for all of us. They say, ah, when I get there, but it's when I get there, two months, I will drive them away. They've been hiding since. They go say, ah, they don't finish book around. Book around, not do anything again. Now we see. You know what the solution? Number one, government must tell the truth. Why is book around there? What are they looking for? Mm. You remember one time they said Buhari is their agent. You represent them. Uh, they said Boko Haram. No, General Boko Haram. Ah, Boko Haram. That uh, time, long time. Maybe Boko now Aram. one of these rumors where they normally yes, go with the Yes, yes, yes. But, but the, the reason because when you are sympathetic with Maita Allah and you are sympathetic with uh, Fulani men, what's the difference between Boko Haram? Because the impression Boko Haram got at the time was what they wanted is their own state. 
I don't talk this thing before for another place. Mm. People say, ah, I know. I say, look, it's just like uh, ISIS. Yeah? You say, you know, the what they want is their own state. So we must face that first and foremost. Also, another thing there, you know, I don't really think about this thing. All these people displaced in the uh, Northeast, mm -hmm. where are you going to put them in Northeast to rehabilitate them? Mm. You must take them out of that area. Mm. Bring them to Ondo State. Bring them to your state. Bring them to, to uh, Akwaibo. Oh, that non Bring them, them to them, that. Yeah. Yes. That's the only way you can settle them. If this is one Nigeria, we must be able to do these things. Mm. But our problem is say, they will say, not be part of their country. Mm. That's the problem. If you have a federal government, a head of government, we take him out, talk, say, the people when they represent, we ain't care for, now the people who vote 97% for him, we have a problem. Mm -hmm. Make we face up. Mm -hmm. That's why in Ophic now say, if he's saying they carry people from Eduguri to Nietzsche, then we say, ah, army of occupation, because these are not our people. Until we have head of state, we be father to all. We believe, say, Nigeria, is his responsibility, whether you are Yoruba, Ibu, Hausa, or none of the above, until that time. So the solution to this thing is to move those people hmm, mm. away and create uh, villages, rehabilitation villages for them in other parts of the country where there is no threat of this attack. Mm. That is one major solution. Mm. Make government to start that work. Mm. Mm. Uh, no need to come mm. uh, they drag this matter. You don't talk finish. And we like the way we say now solution. Now you take heat up. And we can enter uh, you now, especially when we are the Jesse of SDP Politic Party uh, to be governor of Lagos State for the election when it will happen on the second of March, two thousand and nineteen. And uh, you talk say you get one very important thing when you want to make our politics there about. Say now politics where we say uh, people not go they hate themselves. They not go they fight themselves. Bitterness not good day. You think say if you ever get that kind of politics for inside this Lagos, where we say, even though me and you not the same political party, and we not go quarrel, you go vote who you want vote for, I go vote who I want vote for, and the state go continue to move forward. If you want to achieve this thing, how you go take that? Well, the first thing we are go ask Nigerians and Lagosians, now don't suffer rich. Hmm. If now don't suffer rich, Make you now don't vote for the party will bring the sufferness. Mm. Huh? Vote for a party that will bring solution to the sufferness. You vote for SDP, free education, free health care, affordable housing, mass transportation. This is what SDP stands for. And this is the solution to many of our problems. Mm. I told before we don't talk about education, very important very important for the future. But for the immediate time, the thing where the important pass for leadership is integrity. Mm -hmm. hmm? You say, how we go? You know, politics, then they fight everywhere in politics. We go fight, but we must agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. So that the fighting is not personal. Mm -hmm. The fighting is not tribal. It's on principle. And not be say, because I don't agree with you, mm -hmm. I go carry gun. Eh? You go carry knife. Mm. Hey, wait till me this man now. Uh, the, 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 the man, whether he die or uh, not die, we don't know. Mm. When you get government, we be saying, Uluomo, now they control the government and security, then you have a problem. So the solution to problem in Lagos is vote in a credible candidate for governor, the Social Democratic Party with all these social welfare programs, mm -hmm. now if you to solve the problem for this, uh, for this state and for this country. Okay, um, talking about, uh, say, make vote, uh, it, it gets, of course, for people to say they won't vote for SDP. Mm. It gets what they go change them. Mm. It gets what they go need to see. Mm. So, okay, uh, if this is what you're offering, okay, based on this. So, within with those major things, looking at Lagos as it is, uh, a lot of people say Lagos is a commercial place, uh, businesses they move, uh, say at least people they did successful here and, uh, and, and, and all that. Uh, but, but then, you coming in, where they look at from an outside, they say, you know, they look at from, go, uh, from the current uh, government um, angle. Mm -hmm. Waiting with that way, don't also spot. Waiting with those major things where you also need to address, focus. Uh, say, we, we go redefine Lagos. 
to that taste of um, negotiation? Uh, they look um, from the point of view of the negotiation, okay. not from political party only. Mm -hmm. From the point of view of everyday person, you and me in Lagos, and everybody with the watch. Mm -hmm. Number one, the Fort Mainland Bridge, I go build them. The Fort Mainland Bridge? Oh, oh yes, Milan all Bridge. the promises where they make before, where they know if it fulfill. This APC government, I will fulfill them. Yeah, but you get why that Fort Mainland Bridge then be, mm. put, them then be put them aside though. Right. How you go take raise money to build uh, I will tell, I go tell you, very good point. Okay. I will tell you I go raise money. Mm. I will build the Fort Mainland Bridge. I will complete the light rail project. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that road where Ambode don't start to, uh, from Ekpe to Ikuru, uh, to uh, Jebu area, mm -hmm. we go connect Lagos with the eastern zone mm -hmm. instead of the, with the depend on the western mm -hmm. Lagos Ibadan road. I will complete that road so that traffic will move in Lagos. One of the first things I go do if I be governor, all those trucks where you see for road where they enter Papa create mm -hmm. havoc on the streets, mm -hmm. 24 hours they are out of here. 24 hours. 24 hours. Once we enter our national our assembly mm. and we promote the law that these people must move, we give them notice. To enter Lagos, you go get scheduled. Mm -hmm. Then we go go to a papa. They must have 24 hour shift there, so that these people overnight they will come and go. Yeah, but Everything it means that you go work with the federal, federal government. Of course, of course. Of course. Like, but if you now one party, exactly. federal yeah, government, that is what, you know, you know, they tell be that. Mm -hmm. Unless that one stop, we know if you go anywhere. Mm -hmm. It is not about federal government and this party or that party. It's about the people. You know, they have a way traffic they cause here. People, they die for traffic. I said, they come now. One ambulance, I see the ambulance, they come. Heavy traffic. Yeah. Ambulance had to go and pass one way. If one ambulance enter traffic. Uh, uh, not, be, not be motto, you go fly. Mm. Where, where are you go go? So people, uh, that person, that, that patient there go die now. Hey. I know person personally will die. If they go in doctor hospital, if they go hospital, traffic catch him inside in car. Now the driver, the driver, just from Osborne to Lekki, before the man read there, don't collapse, he don't die. Mm. Uh, I get another one, a former student, where we say, in baby, baby, sick, in the carry and go hospital. Traffic. They say the girl, when he near, she say this traffic is too much. He carry the baby come out, begin to run for streets. Hey. Say maybe somebody go help her. Mm. That baby died in her hand. These are real life. So this all this, anybody will play politics with the people's lives, with the issues. Is an enemy of the people, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, no, that, that money, no, the uh, money, uh, how you go take raise mm, the money now? The, this to build this Fort Milan Bridge. And to do all the other and projects. And the other ones where you don't talk, say you go do. Number one, eh? integrity. Let me tell you, one. Hmm? Mm. All the money where Lagos State, they take go play politics outside of Lagos State. Whenever there's election somewhere, mm. you go hear the the vulture of Bodilon, you go carry billions. They will go on those, they go to election. They will go just they go to election. They go to state. You are looking at 50, 60 billion each time. That now won. But this one will not get proof. We'll not get fact, yeah. Eh. We don't talk, say, we don't eh. see bank statements. Mm. No, 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 no. So. You know, if I, you not go see bank statements, but you go suffer. Mm. And you go know. Mm. Say where the money come from. Mm. It's just like telling me now, say all these banner, all these poster where you they see, now so we'll look at them. Which money then they take to mm. It's Lagos state money. It's your money and my money, our tax money. If you want to see bank statement, then you go wait till kingdom come. Mm. Mm. But you and I know. If you don't know the people where they watch for Lagos for home now, no. So you believe say this money now when we say I like, say they waste. That you now one, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, so our money you are wasting it over there. You are spending it uh, for something that is not our business. That now one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number two, number two. Extravagant lifestyle. Mm -hmm. They say uh, the leader is uh, the leader where they do six year birthday. The man I eat you, eh? They do six year birthday five times. He could do six year birthday. They will pump Lagos State money. They will put banner, post everywhere, spend hundreds of millions to celebrate the man birthday. Waste of money. All that one will stop under my control as mm -hmm. governor. Number two, mm -hmm. 
Number three, corruption. That lucky Ikoi Bridge, they said at 29 billion, the builder. Every engineer we I talk to, they give me access between 14 and 16 billion. Where is the rest of the money? It's going into the private pocket of one of these uh, so-called leaders. Mm -hmm. That na money will not go happen under my watch. Mm -hmm. So the 13 billion there will be saved. Mm -hmm. You get my point? Mm -hmm. Then there is also part of extravagant living, which is when you are going abroad, hmm? you take, uh, you take uh, entourage, mm. 200 people going with you. Eh? You need evidence for that one too. Mm. No need. You can calculate now. Each one having $10,000 naira, uh, $10,000 extra code, 200. I will cut that one to 50. Instead of 200, now 50 go go. So these are areas. Then another area where you go, they take money. You know the reason why these trucks they for road now? Some big men will get the truck. Some of them, they partners with our people within government. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you know, the tax where they go pay, now the tax where they won't pay. If I'm governor, every high earning person go pay in tax. And they go pay because I will do the job for them. Mm. They, they will see, see the results. They go to see the results. They go see, say, I know they chop money. Mm. We didn't be, uh, you know, Peace Square, we talk that one. Mm. Yeah, I know chop money. money. Yes. No, I know chop money. Okay, I know chop money. And I'll be that Peace Square won't be that one. So we'll make sure we, that we know chop money. Mm. Government money must be used for government. Mm. So all of these areas, then one of the major ways where you will raise internally generated revenue. Mm? Mm -hmm. You go make sure, say you invest in small business. Now small business get business mm. for any country mm -hmm. because they are very, very many. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just the big business where they don't go to and go. You know, mm -hmm. the only way where you feel to go vote for these people now, unless your papa be done go to. Your papa not be done go to, you vote for SDP. Because otherwise, you are going to go back to suffering. Mm. This so, you don't explain how you go take raise the money now. Yes. And maybe we talk some other important things because mm. time no day. You also mentioned health care and also education. We will just give you time to just talk the two at the same time. How you go take improve these two sectors? Health care, again, look at developed countries. We make progress. They're always fighting for health care. From age one, birth to 18 years old, health will be free. Mm. Then, senior citizen, we don't talk, work for this country, work for this state till they retire. We go subsidize their health care. Under SDP government. Under SDP From government. to 18. Yes, yes. Free health care. And, and you know, the reason why I tell you about saving money and making money, mm -hmm. serious investment in agriculture. I attend one conference recently. Come and see what is the potential in agriculture to raise hundreds of billions of dollars for this state if we focus and help them, as they do in other countries. Manufacturing, serious investment, the money will be enough to pay for health, free health care, free education. This is how we make it. Mm. They ask Aulo, you remember, how are you going to do free education? He said, well, number one, President, I can assure you, no more free coffee in my office. Mm. That's another thing we are going to add. Mm. If I am governor of this state, no more first class air ticket. Mm. Nobody is traveling by first class. Not Everybody even the, for the government. Not even the governor. Mm. The governor must not travel. I will travel with the people now. Mm. I know how to handle myself in the plane. Mm. You know, say one to three, now first class. Mm -hmm. Four, back. Now ordinary class. Mm. Hey, they will give me four or five now. Mm. That yeah. will not do. Mm. <laughs> so the point I'm making is our people, we will have saved money in so many ways. Mm. And then another thing that attracts money is integrity. I guarantee you, all the years I live in the US, the people know me. And the years I've been here, and I get appointment to what mm. I've been talking. Mm. You know where I stand. Foreign investor will be glad to put money in Lagos State because they know their money will be properly invested and it will not be stolen. Mm. Let me say my daughter will do birthday, you go to do marriage for Dubai. I will come carry people go Dubai. Go and spend hundreds of millions of naira in Dubai. 
Then my daughter go to spray Dora. God punish that daughter. Uh, 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 that education. Uh, no, yeah, even uh, if, uh, I even ask something. This one got to do it, okay. Uh, going by your plans and the kind vision, because uh, me, as I see Lagos now, going by the way you don't explain now, I see Lagos as paradise. But in as much as we don't see all these plans where you get, and then um, bringing in integrity, ensuring say you go cut down on lots of costs. How you go also fit paraventure, if for it, God help you, you win. How you also if you carry yourself, at least feel lobby for some of these things because if you get a state assembly, maybe say somehow, somehow, then the opposition. You know, say that they do things where we say go favor them. And people where we say somehow, somehow, they don't they use to some kind of money. How you also feel lobby yourself to ensure say that relationship based on the plan where you get, you at least you also change their minds more so that they go feel see reasons why you really want to do this thing. As against that money where they hungry them to chop. Number one, the reason why Lagos State Governor now, not be governor, you hear me? Mm. Now puppet. Not only because, because even though it's the same party with the assembly men and women, mm -hmm. not being they talk to the assembly men and women, mm. they get their order from Bodilon. Mm. Tinubu they order them. Therefore, governor not if you do anything. Governor too, they take instruction from body law. If I'm governor, it's me and the assembly. And one of the things I tell you, I will be very fair. All your allowances, you get your allowances, but you will not steal the people's money. Mm. If you steal the people's money, I will report you to the people. Mm. I will come to Wazobia. I've been an old I come to come and tell the people. Yeah, you go talk now. I will tell the people now. I say, look, I propose make we do this, so make we get free education, oh. Some people say they're not great, but I doubt it. Mm. The same way, way the thing where they talk, convince you and convince people they listen for home. Mm. Say that is what we want. Those assembly people, they represent people now. The people where they represent will tell them when they go home. Say, my friend, mm. waiting governor they talk, now na go do. Mm. Otherwise, na go do. For. We go impeach them. Mm. They will get into trouble at mm. home in their own constituency. That's how you do it in the U.S. where I go learn my politics. I'm telling you, you go do something where we say, when you go to your constituency, they will tell you, say, ah, Abba. So they say they will give us free education. You say you're not great. Mm. Where you, which one you did? Mm. Which one you did? By the way, if, if I'm governor, I will also negotiate regularly with my National Assembly. All the House of Rep, all the senators, it doesn't matter which party you come from. We go sit down. This is about Lagos. Mm. Please go and lobby for restructuring. Lobby so that this national stadium, you know, you know, the national stadium before. The one when mm. the Suruleri. Mm. It's not a big rich. Mm. Now, village, now, town. We must get it back from the federal government. Mm. They're wasting it on our soil. We can raise money from this and such assets all over the state. What is your problem if you are representing Lagos to lobby that we should get more money in Lagos mm. to help our people? I have no problem. I have no doubt mm. that I will convince the assembly people to do the right Even thing. Even if they know they're your party since now, you don't know what my business. they talk about. You know how many parties are there before? Mm. I don't do all the parties. They all know me. Mm. We know each other. This is not about parties. Some small people, a few, a very few, we go day there, I go say, you know, and I be say, one well, yeah, yeah, leader, now mm. they confuse If they want that way you talk, you be mm. talk about uh, cleaner Lagos. Yes. Some people don't look, say, the way, way Lagos, they, the kind of waste when Lagos they generate. Mm. Say, hey, it be like, say, we go need uh, angels to come <laughs> to help us, they keep Lagos clean. But what you don't mention, you mention, and I say, you get plan already. How you go take you out? You know, nothing way I won't do way people never do before. Mm. You know, it's like affordable housing. Jacqueline Duham, you know, mm -hmm. uh -huh. free education, a whole lot of Duham, even Jacqueline do some of it. This cleaner Lagos, you just have to reorganize the way you collect waste mm. and manage waste. The LCDAs will collect waste. Hmm? Working with private companies. Then the, they go dump them for Go, uh, the company will go manage waste. Waste can be a business. Mm. 
In fact, I promise you, Lagos will be the capital of, of recycling in Africa, if not, if not West Africa, if not the whole of Africa, at least West Africa. Recycling. So that all these things that you use, all this waste, mm -hmm. you take it and you recycle, and you turn it into recycle. power, you turn it into good, positive resources. So again, it's a question of full commitment, and a question of going back to what was already in place. Yeah. And what's his name? And Jack Onde had already instituted this waste management board. We will go and use the waste management board to manage waste. Mm. This is not a question. Now they're using politics. You say make uh, local people go collect with they dump them somewhere. Then the former governor, they say when he get there, he go bring his own company. Then they go to collect waste. They don't know which way they do. That's another thing. Conflict. Hmm? If I see any assembly person, we get personal business. We the work with government. Mm. We may not get to, because I'll never do that. Mm -hmm. It is illegal, it is improper. In my own opinion, it is jailable. Mm. Hmm? It is criminal offense. So that separate your business from government business. Mm -hmm. That's the part of integrity we're talking about. All of these things will make for a cleaner Lagos mm. and a greater Lagos. All these things where you don't talk now, uh, I definitely should say people waiting for us go look say, well, SDP uh, by the, with the candidates don't talk their plan. Mm. Uh, what we're going to do now, now make we just look at uh, Lagos people for eye, tell them, say, uh, this election, they're very, very important. So many people not just sit down for us on the election. They say, she be the same one, no cuckoo go anywhere. Encourage them to participate in the process and go out because their vote and their right, their vote and their power. Just talk to them. Uh, make we carry one out. People of through. Lagos, the future is in your hands. If you decide, say, this party with the office, you don't suffer and are rich, vote them out. Vote for a party we go change things, we improve things, as I don't talk so. Mm. The Social Democratic Party is an established party of old, since the days of Abiola. Mm. Now, now, no. In fact, pre pre preceding that, the days of Abiola, now we inherit that heritage. So, free health care, free education, affordable housing, mass transportation, and full commitment to service for the people, not service for self. And total dependence on you and me, the people. It's a contract between me and you and the people, not some leader that would dictate to me what I would do for the people and what I would do for his own business partners. Mm -hmm. It is between me and the people, full commitment to the people. Very that good. is my commitment to you. Dr. Ade Tokubo Pierce, now you get this handshake. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. You say much. You Thank you. I want to the house. We they talk say Nigeria and our country, you don't go spoil. Until we come back again tomorrow with another topic where they come on smoke. Una bye bye. bye. To enjoy more of these our Ogonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.